Here's the carousel. All ages welcome. <laughs> oh, that I know, my lovelies. Hi, my darlings. How are you all? Sinead here with Free Tours by Foot. I am at Trafalgar Square, guys. We're going to have a little walk around some Christmas markets. So I will be doing all, of course, nighttime Christmas lights. You know that's coming. I mean, inevitably, when they're all on. But right now, I'm going to bring you to two of the markets that's just opened up. Now, it's a super busy Saturday. But I just thought to myself, I've never given you a walking tour during a very busy Saturday in London. Let's go and have a look and see what's happening around. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the Trafalgar Square Market. And then we're going to head over the Hungerford Bridge. I'm going to bring you along the, the South Bank. We're going to see the South Bank one. So it's going to be busy. People are going to be looking at us strangely. I am so grateful to you for your reaction to the Fortnum and Mason video. We're so excited about it. Um, obviously, I'm going to do for more department stores shortly. But for right now, let's see Saturday in the West End in London. Now, I must be slightly crazy doing this with you, but I just wanted to show you how it is to navigate around the biggest hotspots in London on a Saturday. Now, you'll hear this group of people here are praising Jesus, and that's what it's all about. They're thanking the Lord. Now, they are quite melodic, actually, and quite entertaining. So what a nice way to start. Let's have a look. Here we go. Thank you, Lord, and thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So, this is the Trafalgar Square Market that opened up. Now, don't forget, you guys, we did all this last year as well. And don't forget our Christmas playlist. And so make sure you check out our Christmas playlist. I came around here last year with Maureen as well. No doubt we'll be coming again. So we've got all our winter warmers and actually we don't even need them. It's 18, 19 degrees today. Oh, these were beautiful. We had a few of these last year. Chocolate kisses. It's probably going to be a bit difficult to get around today. Oh yeah, these are the guys with the honey and the chutneys. He does that with the cheese. He had a beautiful chili one as well. Cherry tree cheese board chutney. You all love a good cheese board at Christmas. Now your standard handmade jewelry and crafts you guys funky jewelry see look how busy the place is isn't it insane this is typical saturday now in the west end my lovelies um oh look at these cute little nets here super mario brothers is that right am i right in saying that yes i am oh i love a good little leather band actually love those actually native handcrafted bands so this is the first one that's been kind of opened up. Now we're going to cover all of the Christmas markets, as you know I will. But uh, ponchos. Now I expect we probably need them next week, at the beginning of December. But look at that for the kiddies, the little children's cardigan. What a lovely little gift. Maybe a newborn or a kid. I mean, what I love about this is they're so colorful. Now these are beautiful pottery designs. I'm assuming they're all handmade as well. So we'll have a little look around. Ooh, heading in now. Oh, yes, this is like the Bavarian um, little restaurant, the eating area. And, of course, these hot dogs are absolutely beautiful. These are their loaded fries. So let's have a look at what they're on offer this year. Burgers, bacon, cheeseburgers, chili house, special burgers, jumbo sausages, jumbo cheese dogs. Frankfurters are always popular out there at the Christmas market. Now, let's see what they got over here. God, there's a lot of people around, my lovelies. And I thought London was quiet, but you see, everybody kind of congregates to this area anyway. So you got your standard cheesy fries. You got a really good hot dog there that the chap has. Oh, I love a bit of silver jewelry stalls. Getting around is going to be a bit difficult today, but this is all part of the atmosphere. I just wanted to show you his beautiful little uh, jewelry here. 20 pounds each. Wow, they really are beautiful, sir. Oh my God, I love silver jewelry. So all of these are 20 pounds and you have gorgeous gift ideas. And he has beautiful bracelets here as well. I had one of them one time from Tiffany, I think. Lord knows what happened to it over the years. I got some lovely Tiffany jewelry when I was in New York. And I think one time I was, when I was cocktail bar attending, I put it behind the 
the bar. Never saw them again. Look how fabulous. Look at the sun is baking down on top of us. It's so bizarre. But again, I believe the temperature is going to drop next week. So that's one side of the market, you guys. Let's have a look down here. What's happening down here? Oh, this Saturday. So it's always a kind of a demonstration takes place on a Saturday in London. Oh, this is the chocolate world. Now you folks, look at this. You can get chocolate covered strawberries. Oh my God, what's he having? Chocolate covered marshmallows. So we've got some other singing down here. Let's see what protest or demonstration we have today. So it's quite busy around here, as you can see. It's a bit mental, isn't it? Now, that's the Trafalgar Square one, you guys. But I think this is more about you understanding how crazy the city is on a Saturday afternoon. I think it might be a bit over the top for some of you. You might find it too busy, but these leather-bound books, I was looking at these last year as well. They're absolutely beautiful. Look at this gorgeous work here. Do you have a website online, sir? You don't, okay. So look at that beautiful book there. There's one for 30 pounds. Another leather bound diary, two for 55. Great gift okay, idea, actually. These Great little, uh, for your oysters. Okay, and this lady's handmade jewelry again. Oh, how pretty. Love a good jewelry store. Right, let's see what's happening over here. Demonstrating. No idea, but everyone seems to be in very good form in the, uh, the sunshine in London. Seems to be building momentum. They usually kind of meet here. Trafalgar Square is great for the old meeting area for demonstrations or for celebrations, any of that. It was, of course, where the VE Day celebrations take place. It's where the St. Patrick's Day Parade. Uh, well, all the Irish congregate on St. Patrick's Day weekend. Now we got another lovely stall here. Ooh, right up my street. These are coats, you guys. I love a bit of coats. Stranger Things. That's lovely. Ooh, I like that um, leather. Very cute. Hi. Is that okay? Thank you, sweetie. Um, just everyone is so polite as well. They don't mind you filming either. Advertising your fleeces and your gelées for the winter, which hasn't yet arrived, but no doubt will be here soon. Right. So what I'm going to do is we're going to take a little walk along here and show you what's happening. Uh, we're going to go along Northumberland Avenue. And from there, I'm going to take you over the Hungerford Bridge. So we're en route. We let this chap come first. We're going to get some fabulous views of the Houses of Parliament over the river and the London Eye. Now, I expect... The South Bank is going to be mobbed with people, but let's go and see the atmosphere. Why not? It's a beautiful day in London. I'll take you with me. Look at Trafalgar Square, of course. In previous videos, you'll know it gets its name from the famous Battle of Trafalgar. And the victor of the Battle of Trafalgar, there he is. Admiral Lord Horatio Nelson. He defeated the combined Spanish and French fleets in the Battle of Trafalgar. And the four black plaques at the base of Nelson's column. Everyone always laughs at the way I pronounce column. Explain to me how I'm supposed to pronounce it. Is it column, 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 or column, or? Uh, those four black plaques are made of French cannon. They're to, to depict his four most famous victories. And they are the bombardment of Copenhagen, the Battle of the Nile, the Battle of Cape St. Vincent, and the Battle of Trafalgar. Now, we're going to have a little stroll here down Northumberland Avenue. That's going to take us up and over the Hungerford Bridge. And from there, we'll head towards the South Bank Market. But just give you a little panoramic spin around there. The National Gallery, of course, housing one of the finest collections of Western European art in the world. But also one of the finest collections of Renaissance art in the world. Outside of Italy, of course. Now, we're going to cross over. Something rather quirky I want to show you here as well on the traffic lights. Now, here we go. The police are out in force today. Saying hello and greeting everybody. and Being very sociable. 
the way it should be. Everyone's in really good form. There's an amazing view of one of the lines of Trafalgar. Okay, right. I'm gonna find what I'm looking for here for you in two minutes. I know there's one on the opposite side, but I want you to see the specific one. Okay, so here's an example. This is what I wanted to show you. Look, see, I've got the right of way to cross. You see the two green men? See them up here? These two green men with the heart right underneath were put up to celebrate gay pride, you guys. Um, holding hands. Isn't that lovely? So instead of one green man, we got the two green men for gay pride. But we're heading down this way, you guys. So let's head for the South Bank Christmas Market. Now stay tuned because the next few weeks I'm waiting on a few things to open up. That's what I am delaying for. All the Christmas lights aren't fully up yet. Um, and Christmas markets aren't fully open, but they're all opening up very soon. And I got a lot of special treats up my trick, but if you need your fix in between, make sure you check out our Christmas videos from last year. We had the fabulous Christmas in Covent Garden. I'm excited to see what Covent Garden are gonna do this year. You'll have to find a really nice little Christmas themed restaurant as well. So we had great fun last year in that one in Covent Garden. There's the two green men again. Now, look at this gorgeous place. We've been in here before, folks. So don't forget, I've actually done a tour around here at the Sherlock Holmes pub. And we went inside and upstairs. Oh, I'm sure that was around the Victorian Beckman Gardens one that I did, that I came up the back of uh, Northumberland Avenue. What we'll do is we're gonna head up here and over now for those of you um, with mobility issues there are elevators to take you up and over the bridge as well so never fear London is very accessible for wheelchairs and the South Bank by night tour that I did do um, I take a lot of people in wheelchairs along there actually on private tours so most of the tours that we have are all accessible and from now on I'm going to make sure I make a point of mentioning that on the videos or if there is any areas you would have any bit of difficulty I will do my best to instruct you accordingly but now this is always one of my favorite bridges this is the pedestrian side of the Hungerford Bridge and you have the trains that come in here into Charing Cross Station on the other side. And there's the Uber boats. And of course the London Eye. Bridge for selfies, guys. Looks busy over here today, actually. Let's have a quick look around. Absolutely in awe of the weather. I mean, it is just glorious. I'm always worried I'm going to drop my gimbal or my phone into the River Thames. That would just be disastrous. And there she is. So if you're enjoying the tour so far, go ahead and click that like and share button and help others discover this video. And for more virtual tours of London and beyond, consider subscribing to our channel. Be sure to visit our website to learn more about our in-person tours and London travel tips. We also offer live and virtual tours in cities throughout the world. You can help support this channel by donating through the thanks button or by buying your tour guide a pint or a cup of coffee. Links to do so are in the description below. Now back to the tour. Right now, I just wanted to show you how chaotic it can be around here. Oh yeah, this is a word of warning on this one, ladies and gentlemen. This is a scam. They do this all the time, and the actual people that are around them, that are pretending they're betting, our friends are there. So it's all part of it. So do not ever get caught up in that. It's all right. Don't worry. See, you. no wonder there's no photos. All his friends are doing it. So don't ever get caught up in that scam, you guys. All his friends are surrounding him there. I've seen him so many times. Three or four of his friends uh, will bet on there. And I've seen tourists getting caught for 60, 120, 280, 300 pounds. It's absolutely disgusting. Uh, no photos, please, no photos. So you'll know why there's no photos. You're not imbeciles. But it's amazing how some of us 
get caught up in these things quite easily. Now, here we have you guys. Look at her, isn't she beautiful? The real big bell. It's a bit difficult to see with the sun glaring down the top of me and all the houses of parliament, the beautiful Victoria Tower. Here we have, look at that. I mean, it's breathtaking, especially for people who have never been here. It must be absolutely mind blowing coming to see it. There you have back in the beautiful hotel. Right, let's go. Let's go and see some more markets. Now guys, we're back over. We're on the south bank of the River Thames. Let's head down and catch the atmosphere and see what's happening. Okay, so this area here between the bridges. Last year I came in here, it's all bars and restaurants and uh, it's actually buzzing in here. I did get on that carousel last year, but I refused to let you all see me. That was terrible. Maureen enjoyed it. There's our mull cider and hot whiskey, guys. Now, I know that the Christmas markets are behind me. We'll go up there in a moment. Let's have a look around here first. God almighty, this is insane. It's not exactly cold enough for mulled wine and cider, but there's plenty of people out drinking and having a fantastic time on a Saturday. It's an amazing place for the kids too, folks. You never shorten things to do with the children around the South Bank. Here's the carousel. All ages welcome. <laughs> oh, that I know, my lovelies. <laughs> I'm laughing away. We did this last year. I did. No one wouldn't get up on that. Now this is fun. I think it's something like three pounds a ride, but uh, why not? You gotta do it. Now, obviously the London Eye is down to the left-hand side, but we're more concerned with the Christmas market coming out for you guys. Now, there's buskers as well though, so I'd like to show you some of them. But right now, let's see if we can head in the back here, because this place is always very cool. Love this place. And they set it up for Christmas. And it is... Where is it again? Oh yeah, there's the bar. People enjoying their beers. What time of the day is it? Let me tell you all, it is right now 1.35. Let's see now, I'm sure we'll be able to go in. Let me just make sure with this gentleman here. Look at this, you guys, isn't that amazing? So you got food and bang bang burgers, duck wraps, duck burgers, Guinness, drinks. It's all amazing food and drink. Honestly, it could be in the middle of the summer, you guys. It's absolutely amazing in here. Look at the buzz, guys. We won't be here long anyway. i got loads more to show you. I want to bring you to the Christmas markets as well. So hopefully, let's have a pop inside here. Look at this. It's a bit like the Winter Wonderland Bavarian bar as well. Look how amazing. Isn't it great? Now, they wouldn't let me film in the other place because there's a drag show going on, which is fantastic. There's just so much going on, it's so busy. And I'm assuming this is all heated at night time as well, which is amazing. So you can come down here instead of going to the usual bars. Look at that, a Christmas themed tent. How epic, guys. Right, we'll be coming back here for a proper day out, guys, when we're not working. Oh, what's in here? Let's have a look. Look at this lovely bar down here, the curling. <gasps> Now we're going into Christmas market territory. Oh my God, guys. Let's have a look here. That's down the side, the curling club. I may actually come in here and play curling. How cool would that be? Look at these little chalets, my lovelies. Now we're under the bridge. So if I go silent, it's because the train is passing. Just to show it to you in the daytime. Oh, we got hot chocolate and Belgian waffles. Oh, I feel like I'm under the subway in New York City. This is deadly. And you got some wonderful graffiti here on the side as well. Oh, it's okay. Come here. Come here. Poor people think that I have to get out of my way when I'm filming, and that's not the case. So here we have boozy hot chocolate and hot Belgian waffles. Right, so let's move on up here. 
Oh yes, I think this is another one of those indoor bars where you can... Oh no, that's where they're curling, you guys, look. So I guess what you do is you get a picture of you curling up here. I don't even know the premise of the game, but I know it involves kind of using sticks and like a pub. Now here's Wagamama. It's always stationed here, that's very popular. Right, let's go up here and find out. Ooh, voodoo chicken, that sounds great already. It must be hot chicken, obviously. Um, immediately, I think vindaloo chicken. Ah, so a little busy here. But this is all that's here at the moment, but they do extend it all the way up eventually. And we did take a little YouTube video the last time. I wonder if my lady with the maps is here. Yes, she is. I bought a beautiful map off this lady last year. Ooh, a map of Ireland. She's very sweet in there. She does some lovely work, actually. Beautiful big map. And I got a wonderful email from her thanking me for promoting it for her. Now, let's see what's here. The Polish Deli in London. Oh, that's busy. It's hard to get around here. I should get some Polish. Polish bratwurst sausages as well. It's pretty cool. Can't really see the items as yet because oh yeah, this is the Rusty Signs one. Oh wow, look how beautiful their stall is, guys. Look at this. Inside a little bird. Fabulous, it's so decorative, thank you. Okay, so for a glass of mulled wine we're getting for $5.90. Prosecco $5.90. 694 award winning that's not bad and a port and cherry 550. now we will come back here when it gets really dark and it is cold that's when we really want it now let's have a look here you got your beautiful handcrafted stars here i remember all these ladies from last year these illuminated lights very pretty too I love this place. This is like rustic signs and very trendy signs. So sorry about the other way. I had to come up and down, but this will give you an idea of what it's like to negotiate your way around. Okay. These are your home sweet home signs. The one with the wine is pretty good. Wine in truth. Is that what it's calling it? Wine. There's truth in wine. Maybe. I don't know. Now, look at these little beware of attack cat. I know a few houses that can affect for as well. Hi. Have a look, yeah, thank you. Let's have a look at some of these. Oh, isn't that stunning of Her Majesty the Queen? Look at that. And, ironically, right beside Queen themselves. I'm pretty sure I bought a few of these as well, guys. Look how colourful. Bruce Springsteen and the E Street Band. He's actually playing Hyde Park next year, guys, if any of you want to come. Uh, speaking of which, we should be seeing all the gigs lined up. And by the way, just a handy tip for you folks. If any of you are planning on trying to get Wimbledon tickets, the they're now open at the moment for the lottery. Lottery for Wimbledon tickets. These are great. I love it in here. Stay here all day. I don't want to be in that lady's way. Oh, there's Superman. I love it. Now, speaking of which as well, you guys, don't forget, you can book all our tours on our public tour schedule, but I personally am getting booked up very quickly next year for private tours. So if you want a private tour, my lovelies, and if you want to spend the day with me and I'll take you around and spoil you rotten, make sure you check out the link at the bottom of this video. Margaret will handle all the emails and deal with all the correspondence, but uh, I'm dying to meet you all. So many of you have already scheduled your tours for May and June next year. So look forward to welcome you all to London and bringing you around. Look at this. Oh, Lillian Tees Winter Market. Look at these cookies, guys. Isn't this beautiful? Look at the macaroons. It's just the effort they put in their stalls I love. It's not like they just have a chalet. These are chicken wraps, that's what these are, look at this. Oh yeah. Delicious. Oh, you can only smell what I'm smelling, 
around here, guys. It's incredible. So that's a manic day in London. That's all that's here right now. But of course, I will be keeping you up to date on the other markets and we'll be doing big long walks. Ooh, there's the mull wine stall again. I think we had truffle chips there last year. And what we'll do is we'll keep you posted and I'll keep you up to date with everything. Now, everything is not on just yet, but that's just a little pleasant meander today to whet your appetite for the Christmas series that's to come. If you're having any trouble waiting and you would like to get your Christmas fix, refer to our Christmas playlist from last year, folks. All the Christmas lights, Covent Garden's there, all the Christmas markets. My night out on the South Bank here with uh, Maureen. Ooh, I like this guy. That yeah, so have a look at the um, the night we spent on the along here at night time and just see we were in our big winter coats We were frozen with the cold So this is kind of bizarre But I'm still loving it and this is the atmosphere on the South Bank on a Saturday So again, I'm gonna sign out right now ladies and gents, but stay tuned so much more coming your way we will be heading very shortly to do our Christmas lights video as well. So you will definitely have that before the beginning of December to get you in the festive mood. Now, depending on when this is being released, I'm going to take the opportunity to wish you all a very happy Thanksgiving in the US, folks. Have an amazing day. I hope all your football teams win on the day and you eat too much. But we'll finish up here with the little boys and the teenagers. And the rollerbladers this Saturday in London at the South Bank of the River Thames. Thanks for joining me, you guys. As ever, free tours by Foot London signing out. Talk to you very soon. Looking forward to spending Christmas with you.